Tonight, businesses in Hackney which sell alcohol can expect to be busy because, of course, it's Saturday night. But as of a few days ago, they've had to start paying an extra levy to the council. It's been imposed to help monitor and deal with antisocial behaviour. But not everyone's happy about it, as Paul Murphy Casp has been finding out. William runs one of the many businesses in Hackney that sell alcohol late into the night. Earlier this week, the council introduced a late night levy, meaning they'll pay more on top of their drinks licence. The levy, I don't think, is the worst thing in the world. I mean, I think that everyone should contribute. There is a potential that these sort of these changes with the local authority um, legislation will eventually drive small, you know, smaller, you know, smaller yet prosperous businesses like ours out of the borough and potentially others as well. William's story isn't uncommon. Other establishments have also raised concerns, but Hackney Council say they haven't taken the decision lightly. The levy is to actually bring more customers to businesses in our borough. If we get this right, and there's no reason why we shouldn't, businesses and the council working in partnership can actually make a great place even better. Around 400 bars, pubs and restaurants are now paying anything from £300 to £4,500 a year on top of their normal licence. But Hackney isn't the only London borough to bring in the tax. Since its introduction in Islington, incidents of both violent and alcohol-related crime have come down. But even with encouraging results, others say that the late-night levy isn't the way forward. We prefer to promote those schemes that have uh, residents, associations and businesses and local councils and all local stakeholders alongside each other as opposed to a late night levy which simply takes money away. While a House of Lords committee recommended the levy be abolished, Hackney won't be the last London borough to bring it in. It comes to Tower Hamlets on New Year's Day. Paul Murphy-Casp, BBC London News.